do now. Actually, it's Donna. Whatever you're imagining, you can find it at Temple and Webster. Shop furniture and homewares online. Temple and Webster. Imagine. Bob here made the simple switch to a Suncorp Bank Everyday Options account so he could spend, budget and save with ease. This inspired another small change that impressed the socks off Sally. Ooh! Which led to triplets. And a flying family trapeze Which Bob could now manage his money for down to a T on the Suncorp Bank app. A simple change can pay off. Tonight, Australia's lightning start in Paris. Our best ever, a double dose of history and two gold medals in the pool. Plus, amazing Grace Brown powers to victory on the bike. We'll have the latest live from France. Also, miracle survival, a four-year-old struck down by a taxi van outside Clinton Oval. Police waste no time making a swift arrest over an inferno at a historic pub. Anthony Albanese sweet after he was hit, killed in a hit-run crash. Out of a tragedy, you know, good things happen. So um, Charlie's made a difference in the lives of seven different people. So that's, um, that's something we're grateful for, that he was able to do that. Charlie was one of 49 South Australians who donated organs last year. Well, these days, just about all of us have a camera in our pockets, but before the advent of digital photos, taking snaps was quite a process. On Flashback tonight, we're remembering the days of film and flash cubes. In the days of film, taking the snaps took a jiffy, but seeing the results took a lot longer. The process would take uh, normally a few days. Luke Bully has been in the photo business since he was five and seen a lot of change. Started developing film and uh, printing photos uh, back in the, uh, the late 80s. Adelaide's oldest camera store in the central market has been run by his family for three generations. It opened in the 60s when Instamatics were all the rage. Isn't that easy? The flash cube was a revolution. Get yourself a flash cube. On. Take one, take two, take three, take four flash pictures without changing bulbs. In colour, of course. And now um, people can get uh, 500 flashes out of one set of batteries. By the 90s we were getting same day photos, even some back in an hour. There are so many mini labs to choose from that it's now quick and easy. And at around $7 to develop a roll of 24 exposures, quite cheap too. Then the whole game changed. The latest craze in photography is the digital camera, and it seems everybody wants to get one. The um, digital age was um, very new to a lot of people. The foreign concept took a lot of explaining. The point is it looks exactly like a normal camera. And, and, but except you've got a screen on the back. Exactly. Isn't it? Now that's, that's one of the great advantages of, of a digital camera. With the screen on the back, you can, you can have a look at the photo that you've just taken. If you don't like it, then you can wipe it and start again. Digital seems like they say that it's the way to go. The thing I like about digital is being able to play with them. Stuart Poignan is marketing manager of Canon. He says digital cameras are now more popular than film and the reason is simple. You can look at them instantaneously, you can delete them if you don't like them and you can even get them printed. In 2001, Ericsson came up with a camera you could connect to your phone. This camera can uh, store up to uh, five pictures at a time. Okay. But as successful as digital cameras have been, Luke says there's been a swing back to film in recent years. The large uh, percentage would be in the younger generation. People, I guess, which haven't experienced film in the past and they'd like to um, try something different. Like vinyl music, everything old is new again. Wherever you go, don't forget your camera and co 
to colour film. Still love my Pentax Spotmatic 2. There you go. Tickless uh, Taylor Swift fans are...